Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here wearing a Good Sir t-shirt. Which is not the point, but the good thing is, today we're going to be doing a review on something that's fairly special because it was in use by my good friend, and shout out to you, sir, Tesla Gogeta, who does his own old YouTube gaming channel. Now the thing is, he had a very, very epic magazine pouch, which was like this one. This is not his, but this is the exact same model, although you can't take these, uh, tabs off and make it look identical to his. So, what this is, is the BDS 6 Magazine Stacker little magazine pouch now. It's very box shaped because it holds 6 magazines. Now a lot of people like to only carry 3 because with the plate it gives you a small amount of girth but you're still able to climb around and do all your crazy stuff. Now with this, it's a fair deal of more girth but this is the type of magazine pouch you would want to have if you intend to stand the fight. I mean, once you've burned through four mags, then you're generally going to have a bad time. Although it does give you a quicker sort of, quick response sort of a special forces feel, whereas this gives you the, I have six mags, I'm ready to fight for a few hours sort of feel to it. So, you can do a lot more damage with this. Now, the magazines I have really only hold, well, I mean, these two fit in here really well. It seems that whichever side has the concave curve to it is where you're going to have a bit of a struggle. But the magazines fit in there, I got two each. Now as you can see with these other ones, there's two little blank looking mags. Now those blank mags are more basic style because the pack I bought usually yeah, had like five high grades and I also had a pack of ten mid grades because of an accidental purchase. So, got all that going. So, here's the big thing. No matter where I looked online, with the exception of eBay, so the guy I bought this off of, really cool dude, I had no, you really have no idea how these back panels work. Now this fits by, uh, this is going to go over the two little rows here and then hook back around. And it only takes up five spaces as opposed to the normal six spacing. The six spacing giving you a full sort of set on the uh, plate carrier, which is what I had going with the, uh, the three magazine little panel from uh, Warrior Assault Systems. And now I'm scratching my elbow, I went through the forest with a bunch of mosquitoes today without bug spray. So it went predictably so. This cool little magazine pouch, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to install it. <coughs> I'm too lazy to edit this stuff out, so we're going to go install this. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to lower this down. As you can see, everything is a disaster, per usual. But we're going to go down here. And as you see, we do have our six little spot set up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this just off kilter to the uh, right to leave room for the rifle. Now generally when you install magazine pouches, it's a lot faster to take all the magazines out. And uh, you already know, it can hold six magazines, so that's been taken care of. No more need for question. Yeah, that, uh, that concave side, that's where the real challenge is. So let's go ahead and let's get this installed. So. It's got the standard buckles, as you'd expect with BDS. Actually, one of my uh, one of my buddies, who does his own uh, music channel, he actually gave me a BDS pouch that was a triple mag holder for a handgun. Actually, pretty cool, good stuff. Same uh, buckle system going. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. So one, two over here, and actually. Yeah, that's gonna fit just fine and leave one open space. So, that's generally what we're looking at right now. As you can see, lower on the screen there. Ugh. So yeah, installing magazine pouches, as predictably, takes a bit of time. But being able to carry six magazines, I did have a, uh, initially I had a M4 little magazine insert by LBT. But yeah, with the three mags, although the fields out here are pretty small, Always wanted to be able to carry more, so if you put more magazine pouches on it, it fits really weird. And why are you fighting me here? Oh, I gotta rein this in. This is getting out of control. Come on. Alright, so not the easiest to install, as we are quite rapidly learning. Actually, maybe if I put this end in first. There we go. The struggle is real. 
The biggest struggle is the fact that I can't have the fan on right now because it comes up on these speakers and sounds really weird. So, okay. That's part one. I hope you guys like uh, moving pouches around. This is the fun part. Okay, that's through. Now we go to the next row. Nice and easy. Keep easy lemon squeezy. There we go. And then this one right through here. And it's going to loop back. It's actually not technically going to use the bottom row of webbing. Which is cool. I mean, I'm cool with that. As long as it fits and it's secure. If you think about it, your average magazine weighs about a single pound, fully loaded. So you're looking at about six pounds with six magazines. Just some uh, fun trivia for you guys. Alright. To continue our epic struggle. Alright, now for the tricky part of the BDS, is looping back around and clamping. Yep, this is always the trickiest part. You gotta get in there. Did that work? Nope, that didn't work. So I'm already sweating profusely. It is the middle of summer here in Okinawa, so I'm not sure what more you would expect. Come on. Okay. Whew. Yeah, this is why it's a. Uh, it's nice that once you got your gear set up. And. Exactly the way you want it. You'll never, ever, ever have to do this again. Ever. Which I think is really the end state goal for everyone. Just to do it once, get everything to work, and then never have to touch it again. Get in there. Alright, last one. But yeah, I am developing a uh, newfound appreciation for the uh, little tab system that uh, Blue Force Gear and uh, what should we call it? Blue Force Gear Warrior Salt System use. Because they're little slidey tabs without all these uh, go. fancy buckles. Tend to uh, work really, really well and stay surprisingly secure. Okay. It's installed. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and put it on. Don't do that. Because what fun would it be otherwise? Alright. Okay. Pop that up. This comes around here. And clasp. Alright. And we have a magazine pouch. Let's pop this up here. Back to normal, so now to insert magazines. So let's begin. Start with the challenging concave end. We <sighs> die of dehydration out here. Or at least heat exhaustion. Yeah, this concave end, man, it just doesn't like it. It's not a fan. So, one down. Move on to the middle. Middle should go a bit smoother. Middle goes super smooth. So I think the trick is probably going to be, if you don't have to, not to carry an extra mag. And just keep it down to five. And rely most heavily on your side magazines. Now these, uh, Top little tabs I got here, they can be removed by reaching in back here. It's a velcro in the back too, and you can pull these off and just leave this front end. And just like fold that over or 
tuck that in and it'll be out of the way, which will give you faster access to your magazines. Now, as we can see, it fits. It's a little bulky. Actually, from the side of it, you can tell we've got magazines to fight for days. So let's go ahead. We've got a little rifle going. Yeah, okay. And yeah, it's got a the rifle still sit in the front, although it does pop out quite a ways from the body. And from here, pop, pop. Throw the mag. New mag. All right. So, it's working. So far so good. Toss the mag. New mag. Okay, let's try the tricky mag. Toss the mag. And new mag. So, without these pull tabs, or without any type of sort of mag pull setup, you're probably going to have a very unpleasant time getting the magazines out. So, this one right here, I might just keep free and only keep one magazine in there. These other two on the sides pull just fine. Now with a more standard mag, if you were to take like your aluminum type, and we were to put that in there. Actually, let me try uh, so yeah, with these standard size mags, made out of aluminum. Place those in there, I did read online. Yeah, those fit a bit better, but now we have a bit more of a dilemma. So that we have a better fit, the magazines are deeply seated. If you're wearing gloves, there's now a very difficult, it's going to slow you down and get that reloaded. So do keep your magazine type in mind. Although these will fit better, they're going to be less pleasant to draw. So I've made a mess of the apartment, but all in the name of science. So really one more thing to say. With these bags, so yes, we can hold well, five magazines comfortably, and if we decide we hate ourselves, we can make that six. That's good. Jam that extra one back in there. Okay, yeah, okay, so for the con concave side, load the front one in first, and then the back one. That's what we're learning today. All right, pop that, pop that. And cool, we got some quick pull tabs. So it actually takes no time at all to get access to your mag, particularly on the left side. So, again, gear recommended by Tesla Gojira. And as long as I'm talking about that cool guy, I gotta say this much. When he gave it his thumbs up recommendation, he was spot on. This is fantastic. So, this is what I'll be running. This is way more magazines than I'll need for your average airsoft game out here in Okinawa which tends to end exponentially quicker, but I've got six mags. And something about having more than three spare mags fills the Good Sir Knight with happiness. So, that's our review. Now, I, I guess it's an okay review, considering all the fluff of struggling with the uh, thing, but I feel like that's important to leave in, because if you get this magazine pouch, which I will also give my recommendation, the only thing is you're going to struggle with the tabs. And... When I was mentioning the Warrior Assault System, I might as well, I have the Assault Pack here. As you can see, they have their little tabbies that tuck in afterwards. And those tabs make life a lot easier because there's no flip over and then buckle. So, if I were to change anything, I'd probably go with the Warrior Assault System tabs. But other than that, once it's buckled in, it does seem weird that it would take up five spaces instead of six. But as you can see, we've still got a little bit of extra room here which will give us extra room if we want to keep the rifle slanted on that end. So, all in all, we've got ourselves a solid little grip of mags, and we're ready to get out there and cause problems, and whew, wow, I'll beat it up in sweat, so. Okinawan heat is not a joke. Hydrate. And yeah, cool magazine pouch. Although, it is a little tricky to find, so if you find it, highly recommend you get it, because you know it's a stack all sorts of extra stuff, and you can keep it very nice and tight. If you were to put a... Uh, a single sort of like warrior assault system stack and then the extra like a little shingles on the front you're going to take up a lot more extra space with the material alone and not so much the magazine so fantastic thumbs up tesla gojira approved gets her night approved gear for you to go out and rock and roll so all that on top of a sexy splatoon shirt and we're ready to go so 
at the end of the day, the only real question is, are you a kid or are you a squid? Cheers, everyone.